Yeah, just really, really good job by the pitching staff, obviously, with, you know, just giving us an opportunity. Uh, both teams really pitched well. Uh, went a lot of walks and some really good pitches made, uh, located, a lot of velocity. It was just, uh, I mean, watching from the side, both teams, I mean, it was just a well-played game. You know, we we took advantage of a, of a one-out walk, and uh, Stovall, you know, had had a little bit of a rough night, but it really he got the biggest hit of the night, you know, getting Wilmsmeyer from first to third. And then, uh, you know, Jared, you know, it's just the way the game works. He drives in the, the go-ahead run, ends up being the winning run. I mean, he felt bad that he didn't catch that ball. He kind of looked up to make the throw to the plate. And uh, – it, it was just, uh, I don't know, you don't see them all the time anymore, you know, because t teams hit so well. But the pitching tonight was outstanding. And, uh, you know, just each team, I think, got three hits. And uh, each team made an error. Uh, but we got we got the big sack fly there. And uh, just good win for us. Dave, it seemed like Hagan would go six every week, finally gave you seven this week. Just what did you see out of his performance tonight? I thought he was really, really good. Um, I mean, he's going through some guys that were – they were swinging now. And uh, they got some power, obviously. And, uh, you know, the game's kind of fragile, a little mistake. You know, they hit a two-run homer, homer. And he just he, he just did a great job. His stuff was really good. And, uh, you know, I didn't feel like his stuff went away at all. He was still throwing great in the seventh. And, you know – if he's 23 years old and it's 85 degrees, you probably just let him go. Uh, but, again, he uh, he gave us all we wanted and uh, and more, really. And uh, just glad that uh, Gabe came in and did just as good a job, really. Just tremendous. I think his first three pitches were 100 miles an hour. Did you, did you feel like he was a little bit amped up for today? <laughs> I, I guess so, man. You know, uh, I haven't seen that. I'll, I'll look at the, you know, what ours re reads. Probably about the same. You know, sometimes that sometimes that's a little slower than ours. Maybe it's fast, but ball's jumping out of his hand. And uh, the first pitch of the game, triple, you know, triple digits up there is kind of amazing. And threw it by the hitter. And then the second pitch, the hitter cheated a little bit, and really got after it. And uh, I got to give him credit there. I mean, Evans, he got the barrel to the ball. But yeah, Evan. Uh, I just think Hagen, when he is when he's on, he's mixed and he's as good as anybody I've ever had. And what was the decision to DH uh, Helfrich to start tonight, and just how nice was it to see him, you know, reward you like that? Well, I just like the way he swings about against left-handed pitchers, so that's why I put him in there. And Coach Thompson and I talked about it in my office today. And what I do a lot of times, I'll I write a lineup down in pencil, and then I'll have Coach write one. Just to see how close we are, and uh, we we both had Helfrick DH in the night, which uh, it ended up paying off, obviously. But he he got he got ahead two zero, and man, they probably thought we were taken or whatever. And he threw it hard, but he he hit it harder, and it, that was a big swing. Gabe Gackle was uh, in the top of the eighth, and he was faced with a pretty big uh, pretty big situation. Had the bases loaded. And then he got Shelton up to pop up. But first, y'all intentionally walked Shelton before that. And then, he, of course, before that, he was facing Caglione just to kind of walk me through that. Uh, yeah, that I mean, inning. Caglione, I mean, I think there was where his runner on first. We had him he had him down, I think, 0-2. I don't remember exactly. But, I mean, it wasn't a bad pitch. He almost got it in on him. And he just snapped it over the shortstop's head. And he's just a really good hitter. And strong with bat speed. What a combination. Uh, but I thought he threw the ball great. You know, obviously, uh, with a runner at second and third, you know, he was at first, but we decided just to play behind him. And we are going to – I figured just let him run. We're going to try to get this guy out. Got behind the count, 1-0, 2-0. We said, let's just put him on and go after the next guy. I mean, they're all, they can all hit. It's flip a coin. But we just figured let's just go right on right and see what happens. Dave, this throw home that Sprague Light made on the chopper, just yeah. how, how important was that one? Well, that was a great play. I mean, came in barehanded, which made me nervous when he did it. I thought he had a little more time than, than maybe he did, but he did it, and he threw a really good throw, was accurate with it, got that out, and 
uh, you know, then it looked like we were about ready to get out of the inning, and then the kind of the, the hot box started, so to speak. And uh, I thought we handled the ball good, just didn't make the last catch. If he catches the ball, you know, I think it was their catcher running at third. He's not like a flyer or anything. It would have been a probably a routine play to the plate, and we we're, we're out of the inning. But we didn't panic in the dugout. Stayed calm. Um, Hagen was done. Gave us everything he had, and uh, you know we were just hey, let's find a way to score in the in the in the eighth, and we did. And Gabe came out, and I mean he had a great inning. The ninth was great. I might be overvaluing this play, but Peyton Holt in the eighth from left field, cutting that ball mm -hmm. from Caglione and then making the throw to see that in his development, you know, yeah. is a, was it a big play from your vantage point to yeah. kind of be we able to do that? We knew from our vantage point he was going to get to it, but, you know, the grass is wet. It's get, water's coming up as the night goes on. You know, my biggest fear was that he was going to bobble it a little bit and then we were going to have a – then we are going to have a play at the plate. But he, he got around it, filled it clean, got it in real quick, and – Gave us an opportunity to get out of that inning, and uh, but yeah, those are those all the little things add up, and that was a little thing, but it but it's really a big thing, and uh, you know when you're playing one run games like we've been playing, you've got to do all the little things right, and uh, so far so good with that. The the how Florida scored the run, I know is an error, but did you like the way that that play was handled? Would you rather have maybe anything different with how that, you know, the pickle and the pickoff yeah, there? Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought we picked him off. McLaughlin did his job. He looked at third, just didn't throw the ball without looking, stopped him, threw the ball to Peyton, and uh, Peyton kind of looked too. Um, I mean, the only thing that he could have done is run him as hard as he can, give it up, make a tag. But, you know, our, our focus there is not to let him score. We handled the ball. We just didn't catch that ball, and uh, yeah, I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. I thought we did a pretty good job with it, but uh, we just didn't finish it. Florida's big left-hander who started. Uh, yeah. I know he hadn't pitched a lot, but what what was he doing? We know about him. He's 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 a star. I mean, he's he's been hurt. He's had a couple injuries. He's been in their program for a couple of years. Uh, you know, Kevin told me yesterday when I talked to him that he feels like you know that he's going to be could be their Friday night starter next year. Um, he may be the rest of this year, um, but he's building. they're building him up. I think last week, he, I mean, he'd only thrown four, four innings. And you can look at the ERA, but when you've given up a run or two or three, you know, the ERA gets up there. But, yeah, he's got really good stuff. I mean, he was pitching 91, 92. Then all of a sudden, bang, he throws one 95. And you're kind of going, wow, he's got something in there. And, uh yeah, he got us out for a while, but we started getting on him just a little bit better there, and, and I think his pitch count was probably no more than 60. And uh, that's about where he was at. But he's he's good. I mean, change speed, he's got a good arm, and he's throwing the ball downhill with big-time tilt. I guess because he's so tall, does that do his pitches play up at all with 91, 92? Yeah, they're going to stay up. They're going to play up. They're gonna. It's going to seem harder than it is. He's closer to you when he releases the ball. It gets on you quicker. I mean, it all adds up. You know, I mean, Randy Johnson was pretty hard to hit, too. You guys even know who he is? Anyway. All right, thanks. And how nice was it to, to get through that seventh inning? Yeah, it was really nice. I haven't done that all year. Uh, I thought I threw the ball pretty well. Uh, There's that last inning that kind of started off a little weird, kind of walked the Shelton kid, I think. And then I kind of settled back in. But, I mean, the defense behind me played great. I think your first three pitches were all triple digits on the radar gun. A little amped up, a little pumped up for tonight, more so than usual? I just feel good today. I mean, sometimes it gets that high, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, Gackle, you were faced with that uh, bases load jam in the, in the top of the eighth. Uh, and you also faced Cal, Cal uh, How were you feeling uh, throughout that inning? Uh, I felt good. I was just missing a... Uh, some spots and uh, walked a guy, and then Caglione got that hit, which was a decent pitch, but he put a good swing on it. And uh, so you kind of just go, got to go after the next hitter and just keep uh, filling up the zone. You made that play uh, in the top of the seventh that got the you threw the runner out at home. Uh, what, what was the what was your state of mind going on at when that play was developing? Yeah, um, I knew they had the tying run on third. Um, knew he was going on contact, and as soon as the ball hit the dirt, I just 
uh, wanted to make a play on it, and that was kind of the only play I had. Um, I wanted to help Hagen out, so yeah. Jared, I guess you were up with you know runner on third, less than two outs. Just kind of what was your approach there when you got the the sack fly to to drive in the run? Yeah, Peyton and Ty Williams Meyer did a great job um, of getting in the scoring position, and I just wanted to put a ball in the air um, to the outfield and get my pitch, and it worked out. Hagen, the two of the first three guys you faced reached, and I think Ty made the dive and catch on the other one. Uh, but then you tired 17 straight. Just what was did you did you find a groove there? Kind of what was working for you during that stretch? Yeah, I just kind of feel a little off rhythm wise the first few hitters. Uh, I mean, I made good pitches. They just made good swings on. I kind of me and Huddy kind of talked about what they're doing, their approach to the plate, and we kind of made some adjustments at the end of the game. Hey, I guess what's it like going up against a guy like Caglione? You know, I, I know you've faced some other really good hitters this year. Just what was that like? Yeah, I mean, he's probably one of the best hitters in the country, if not the best. So it's always fun facing those guys like that. Just try to throw your best stuff against them. Jared, well, uh, that ground ball that Caglione hit to you was 115, I think. Did it? Did you like? Did you recognize in the moment just how how hard that was? Uh, yeah, it kind of it kind of found me. I didn't really go to it. It kind of just. Popped in my glove. It was smoked for sure. Is that one of the hardest yeah. ground balls? No, for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and Gabe, you've had. I feel like we talked to you about this every time you come in here. These high leverage situations and everything. But how much of the early season, you know, going through that has helped now? Do you feel any more calm now, or is it just kind of the same as it was early in the season when you're going through that? Yeah. Uh, you know, each time you do it, you get a little more confident. And so, uh, just the more experience, the better. And now when I go out there, I've got a lot of confidence in myself and my stuff. And as well as the defense behind me. They've uh, been great all season. So yeah, each game you just get more confident and you just keep building them up. And Hagen, real quick, just you're now second all-time strikeouts list. Jason, Nick, Schmidt, I mean, have you had any conversations with Nick about you know catching him or anything? No, I haven't talked to him about that, but I did talk to him earlier this year before the season a little bit. Kind of get to know him. I met him. Uh, I forgot where I was, but yeah, he's good dude.